and scuff zone. They're going to stay out and trap a whole bunch of guys a lap down. This whole scoring cycle right here is going to be very interesting. We're going to have to see how it cycles through, but this will be a potential game changer for some cars for sure. And we've talked about the nine and how his takeoff speed just hasn't been what he had hoped. There's Stefan Parsons sliding, uh, and already the damage to the rear of that car. Yeah, there's huge damage, and that's at the end of the straightaway. A very odd place to wreck, so there had to be some sort of contact or, or an issue. Nick Sanchez, you see the fire coming out of the 48. right front. So I think Herps, the 98 on the lead lap, the 21 and the 8 don't have tires. Yeah, there you go. So this was a bad break for Austin Hill because he does not have any tires. He can't put tires on. However, there's only nine cars in the lead lap. So a bad break, but also the caution coming out late of Almendinger. Can got, Almendinger pull up close out. enough to him? Can Josh Berry pull in the up car, close enough to him to enter close to him on pit road? Look at the gap yeah. already created. I like that little insurance. Oh, insurance. Miami. Leader on pit road looking for those fresh tires. Action. And the lead lap cars on their way down pit road, Dave. And so the 21 of Austin Hill, remember he had to put on his final set early. He will have a used set to put on for the 21. They will be cooler. They will be air pressured to the desire of the crew chief. Meanwhile, Ty Gibbs, he has four fresh Goodyear tires that he'll be able to put on his Toyota to get him to the end and maybe a race win, Marty. Dave, you may have seen the nose of Josh Berry's car coming down the road. They have some damage where they hit debris on the racetrack. You mentioned they don't have a fresh set of tires. The left sides have 18 laps. The right sides have 23 laps. Noah Gregson had a massive advantage coming down pit road. Easily wins the race off pit road to the car. Just way too free. They went down one round on the track bar. As you see the race off of pit road, Josh Berry coming off there in the number eight. And Berry losing about seven spots. Let's go to the Peacock pit box with KP and Dale Jr. All right, guys, Noah Gregson. A no to Luke. And that was uh, Luke joined, Lambert. That would have been Ryan Newman. That would have been. Right? Uh, I'm sick of getting beat down there. They have been prepared for this moment. Let's see 14. if they made the right calls. Without the flip. He was in the championship this, four. Though, without even winning the race. What could this win do for AJ Almendinger? Mm -hmm. Who Finish came third. in here? I just got to get some points on that seven. I just don't want to have to go to Martinsville. Copy. All right. There you go, Steve. Almendinger is his teammate, Daniel Hemrick. I don't believe. Even if Daniel Henry gets a on huge run right on the start, that he's going to make it three wide. He's going to give A.J. Allmendinger a little bit of freedom. Don't get me wrong. Henry's not giving any spots up. But I don't think that he's going to be putting A.J. in a bad spot right here. But, and let's just, the 54? Don't count him out. He could care less about everybody. But he's going to go wherever there's asphalt, without a car on it, middle, top, get a run. And, and the other thing is, five to go. This is a green-white checker. You know, this is seven and a half miles, doesn't seem very far, at a racetrack where you lose chunks of grip every corner. So you're going to have to figure out a way. Trevor Bain, with all the waiver rounds, is only six rows back, five rows back. So that 18 car is going to be fired off quick. There was 20 cars that waved around. Here we go. Five lap shootout to the finish. And again, a championship four spot on the line. Noah Brinson back in the gas quickly. Gibbs in the 54 with momentum, as is the 16. Almendinger coming as well. Can Noah Gregson run away from these two? Almendinger on the bottom of the racetrack, making up ground. He's hoping that 54 can get enough of a run to get side by side with the 16, maybe stall the 16. Less than four laps. Here comes Almendinger. How aggressive will AJ get as the nine gets a little sideways coming off of turn two? Amadeus got to take a shot. Noah with too much entry speed for Amadeus to do anything with it. 
Almond Dinger's got to have good forward momentum on the exit of one of these corners. Noah's He's got to be car. gaining space on that nine car entering the corner. Then he can make an aggressive move. Now under three laps to go. Gregson, Almond Dinger, and Gibbs. One, two, three. Well, Almond Dinger, he Trevor did. Trevor back there in four. He, he made it interesting for about a half a lap. Gibbs to the bottom of the racetrack. Almendinger up high. Three different lines out of the top three. Feeling good right now about Noah Gregson in this nine car. They took off with much better speed. Luke Lambert's done a great job of making the appropriate adjustments to get this car to fire off. Gregson, Almendinger, Gibbs, Hemrick, and Mayer, the top five. Mayer, a great run. And a half center, coming back to the white flag, still by seven. He needs the points. 29 below the cut line right now for Sam Mayer. Here comes the 54. Momentum on the outside. Trying to take second away from Almendinger. There you go, get there, white flag. Here we go. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. No pressure. Noah Gregson, such incredible numbers here in Miami, but has never been able to finish it and get the win. Now, Gregson with a half a second lead and sitting in front of him, a championship four spot. Gregson heading to the Cup Series in 2023. Wants to go out in style and win a championship. A win here in Miami is going to give him a shot with the championship four. Yeah, Gregson wins. Run for a championship. Good job, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, big crew. Thank you, Johnny Moore. Let's see. Fast push out to Jimmer. Make me want to wash my. That is the eighth win already for Noah Gregson in 2022, and maybe the most important one up to this point. He now has a guaranteed spot in the championship floor and will race for a championship. Those are the moments that Noah Gregson has become prepared it down. for. You see him. The experience he's gained start a fire in the Xfinity again. Series, the ups and downs that prepared him for this, and that's why you bring Luke Lambert into this team for those types of moments to make the appropriate changes to give Noah Gregson the car that he needs. That's a great pairing right there, those two working together. Make sure you breathe, homie. <laughs> make sure you breathe. <laughs> Noah Gregson has... Got a little bit excited after winning races. And now he heads back by the front stretch here at Homestead Miami Speedway, acknowledging the fans. This team has climbed the fence. They have celebrated in style all year long. Thirteen career wins for Noah Gregson. And what a restart Gregson had to win this race. All race long, it seems as though the setup in the car was for the longer runs. He always fought back, was able to get out front, but it took him quite a few laps to Restarts. Well, on the final restart, he didn't have time. He went out and put on a show. Noah Gregson led 127 laps today and the most important one. He gets his first Miami Xfinity Series win. top of the car and crew member brings him down and Marty's down there with him. After three dominant years here at Homestead Miami finally Noah Gregson finds victory lane and what a key day to do it. Welcome to the championship four 
Noah Gregson, two JRM cars now in there. Luke Lambert with the call at the end of the race, and Noah taking this.